So where do you start? Um, start with a sink. This is a classic sink, it's mine. It's IKEA. Lots of people have them, I'm sure. Uh, it might seem pretty obvious, but uh, first things first, the glass. There's a classic shaped glass. It doesn't have the UK lip on the outside and it's not a new Guinness shaped glass. So just a conventional point glass that you have. Top tip, you have to clean it. Not dishwasher clean, but actually hand clean it. This one was in the dishwasher at some point um, over the last few days, but that's not good enough to pour the point. It won't come out with the correct head. It will stick to the inside of the glass. You'll have, you won't be able to get it down on top and it'll taste a bit metallic-y, so you're gonna have to clean it. What I do on the water, just put a small bit of fairy liquid or whatever you have yourself. Again, professional people, barmen and that may do this differently. They might add lemon whatever but this works for me cheap and cheerful just turn the glass around as you're washing and washing every single part of the glass in the top medium bottom of the glass all the way down and make sure you get all the crap out of the bottom as i said this glass has already been washed in the dishwasher but that is not going to be a good enough wash i know it might sound a bit pedantic but it's not and this is an old baby bottle brush that we had. The kids are grown up now, so use it for this. But uh, this is not pedantic. If you want a good point, you're gonna have to hand wash the glass, at least for the first pour. If you're pouring a couple of cans after that, no problem. Just give them a quick rinse out with water. Slosh it around, fill it out. But to start, you definitely want to use some washing up liquid, clean the glass thoroughly. Just give it a bit of a spin. And make sure you get all the remnants of the washing up liquid out. You do not want that taste in there. So you want to effectively clean and clear. What I do is uh, grab a tea towel and I dry the outside of the glass, but I don't dry the inside. You don't need to get the inside dry. Don't worry about that. Dry the outside just to make sure the glass is not slippy in your hands. Get any of the stuff out, give a shake there, and that's your glass clean. Good enough, you move on to the next step. So look, at, at this point you're probably saying to yourself, what the hell am I watching? I don't understand what I've clicked on here. Very simply, it's, um, it's about the Guinness Serger, or the new Guinness Serger, which is available in Ireland and the Guinness draft cans, not the Surger cans. Um, the Surger itself, also known as the Nitro Surge, I believe it's for sale in the UK fairly soon, but Ireland at the moment, one of the biggest issues with it is the cans are actually six cans for 15 euro. So quite expensive, you know, not pub and point expensive, point and pub expensive, but expensive enough. And these cans, which are the five six or five three eight mils, which is the full point glass cans, are twenty four cans for twenty four euro right now. Um, now that would be a Christmas deal or whatever, but it's a huge difference in price. So, can you get the same experience of the Surger cans as these? Maybe I think you can get as close to it by what I'm showing you here today. Um, so there's a widget inside these cans and that's what makes the head in the glass it explodes out and pushes the nitrogen out. The, the non or the surger cans don't have that widget. Nitrogen inside it. So what we're trying to do is open this can without breaking the widget at the bottom. You can hear the widget there. Two things. Cold can. Leave these in your fridge overnight. Your fridge should be set to 4 degrees. No point if they're not cold, because if they're not cold, you won't get the proper head on the top. If they're just room temperature or just below it, pointless, don't even bother. Clean glass, simple as that. Some people have tried the slow click release thing to open it. I've tried it many times. Um, as they say, um, do you know the five lamps? Simple as that, <laughs> waste of time. What I find is, or what I found is the quickest method to open these cans are um, these, they're like a tailor's pin. I don't know if you can pick to open the camera. 
So it's got a small head at the top and very sharp at the bottom. Similar to pins you find in shirts, like from pennies or whatever. And um, I've got this tool here, because the closest tool that I have. Right, what you want to do, and this all may sound like a bit of a faff, <laughs> but to be fair, it's a clean glass, cold can. It actually gives you a dome head on the top. And at 24 to 24, it's fairly hard to argue with paying six, uh, six cans for 15. Doesn't make any sense. So what I do is there's a little groove in here in the middle of the can where the, if you pull the ring, it kind of leans against. That's where you put it, right there, and right in the center of the can. A couple of taps. And I have the pin down about a third of the way. So if I show you that, again, excuse the focus. All right, you got your can in there, or your pin right in the middle. And what that should do is it releases the gas. I don't know if you can hear that. Releases the gas at the top of the can without breaking the widget seal. So the, when the widget seal is not broken, it retains the nitrogen that you want. So what you want to do is let the gas out and then the can will become soft. So it's pressurized at the moment, so it's still got a tough feel to it. But once the gas is gone, it'll be soft at the top, unbroken. Now, I've tried this with pins and drawing pins and all sorts of stuff. Just check, test it out, tick tock crack. And it's always broken the seal. And you know the seal is broken by Guinness pouring out of the hole that you've made. You get some foam and you get probably some um, Guinness liquid coming out. Once you've done that, can has to be cracked open and used. No point in proceeding anymore. But what you're trying to do is release that gas. It's getting a bit softer now without getting any liquid out. There should be nothing in the top, right? So after the first minute or so, you can actually kind of release it. Right, so pins out, no liquid. There's your can. Soft as you like. So what you want to do is get your serger button on the back. These are charged up. Light comes on. Open your can. Throw the serger on top. Your pre clean glass. Pre cleaned glass. Pre cleaned glass. All right. Take your, tilt your glass. Put the nozzle against the glass. If you don't have the nozzle against the glass, you will get bubbles inside your point. And you don't want that because it affects the head. So you want to get your glass tilted up. And you kind of want to fill it until two fingers at the top. Away. A bit of a spill there. However. Um, <clears throat> so you can see it's fairly creamy. Two part pour. You'll see it settling there, and you want to maybe leave it for a minute or between 40 60 seconds. It's not an accurate science, you'll know yourself. It'll start settling, and once most of the liquid is dark, you can then pour the rest. I found this is the best way to get the creamy flat head, the dome on top, and it's really two things that there cold can. Hand wash glass, let the gas out of the can, and the serger. We are just up to here in terms of settling. I usually kind of leave it till it's about there. Got a bit of towel stuff on my glass. And when you are pouring the rest, you want to completely invert your can. Like this, invert the can and pour like that. Again, try to keep the nozzle right on the side. Like that. And what you should end up with is a nice dome on top. 
and that's settling there now at the moment. But what you get is a cracking dome on top, and the point will settle in a minute. And that's how I found is the best way to pour the Guinness. Value for money, using the serger, the traditional cans, which are 538 mils, puncture them, job done. Don't need to wash the glass every can you're having, but you should rinse it out. Just bring it out of the water, give it a rinse, throw it out, then move on to the next can. Each can you will have to pinch with the thing. And uh, that's it. Jesus, that's creamy. <clears throat> uh, yep, happy with that. Good night. <laughs>